dad thinks I'm the one that's ruining you and I am trying to keep your ass alive. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another get ready with me chit chat Monday video stuff going on y'all I'm gonna find a name for it okay I promise you I'm gonna find a name for it by the end of the month but for now we're gonna have to wing it with the intro okay so y'all <laughs> I always almost forget to do this intro because I do it after I do my makeup I do the get ready like I do the video first then I do the intro because I want to do the intro with the face piece and I can show you guys the look that I'm going for for this video and when you you know if you see the look that I'm going for and you like it and you want to know how um, I achieved it you can you know easily just watch the entire video I really want you guys to watch the entire video so today's topic y'all we're gonna talk about the acts of learning how to detach yourself from situations that are not working for you, situations that are not helping you, y'all. And I'm gonna be using real life examples. So I'm about to look very bad in somebody's book, but then again, this is my channel. I can do what I want, okay? Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the video. The more control people have or that the more control people think they have on your life and your emotions, that's what they're going to use. Here's the thing y'all, I know that's very confusing because that's just the first statement I've said. <laughs> that's how I started this part of the video. But let me tell you guys something, let me tell you, let me let you, let me educate you, okay? I learned something in life maybe a little later or maybe at the perfect time i guess but i learned something by observing by watching a bunch of movies by experiencing it in real life i realized that when someone has so much control over your life like how am i gonna put this like they think you're never going to leave them, okay? They think they're very important in your life to the point that there is no way you're ever going to leave them. They're going to use that to their advantage and they're going to start controlling you, y'all. That's something I, I, I learned, I realized, I observed, whatever you want to call it. Because I have seen this in friendships in relationships in everything any relationship that people have there's always that one person who likes the other way much better and they will do anything and i'm talking anything for the person they like right and the other person who is not really into it is never gonna go above and beyond for them and i have seen that in so many like so many times um, I've also experienced it in my own life that I mastered. I know I'm not supposed to use the word master because you kind of need to be very good at it. But I'm going to use it anyway. I mastered the act of detaching yourself from people, y'all. Like, hold up. Let me tell you something. I don't know. Maybe I should start with like a backstory or something. But when I break up with someone or when I stop talking to someone or when I stop a friendship or any form of relationship anyway I never go back I never go back. it's not even like a matter of oh I've never gone back no 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 it's a matter of who I am as a person I have never gone back even to friends even if you were very good like I had a friend you know we're gonna go back and talk about this like it's story time and when they watch this video y'all <laughs> <laughs> as long as I don't mention anybody's name, nobody can take me to court about it. So I had a friend, right? Uh, we met when I was in Form 2. She enrolled in our school uh, when I was in Form 2. That was 2015. Uh, she had come from, I'm not sure what school, I can't remember. So at first, I wasn't really friends with her because why would I be friends with you just because we've just come? But she used to talk a lot. She was very lively, so on an occasion, um, you know, I just started talking to her a little bit. My school, my high school was very small, y'all. 
I'm not even kidding. Like when I was enrolling in Form 1, the total number of students at the time was 140. So there's no way you're not going to talk to somebody because you ain't allowed in that school, yo. So I eventually started talking to her because we're in the same class and everything, the same dorm and everything. So we started becoming friends and friends and friends then we started hanging out even out of school and everything and then we finished high school right and we started going out together we, i started going to sleepovers in their house and she used to come to our house have sleepovers because she was from a broken family okay um i can't go deep into it because i don't really like talking about other people's lives they ain't mine but all you need to know is that she did come from a broken family. Uh, their family was... Mm, and she had depression, like intense depression. So I just did what I could. I was her friend. Like I used to hang out with her and, you know, try and remind her that in this life, you're, you don't have to be mad about everything. Like there's something good if you just look and look you know just trying to give her life you know because she was a little bit suicidal because she used to like cut herself and everything so we got very attached we got very like attached to each other because now we're really really friends you know so i used to we used to a month couldn't go by without us hanging out or you know sleepovers and everything now here's the problem y'all um we went on a road trip i will never forget that road trip was the end of us, the end of our friendship and everything. Because when we got back, I'm not going to talk about that road trip, it's a different story. Because my mom had it approved of our road trip. <laughs> I went on an unapproved road trip because I was 19 and I thought I was grown. <laughs> and I didn't, you know, I lied and I went to that road trip and stuff. Um, given that now I'm like 22, I can really, I can go wherever I want, but I don't. <laughs> Life is, life is weird because when I wanted to go out and everything, uh, my mom's like, oh no, wait a minute, no, 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 there was this kind of restriction because I had just gotten my ID, I was still not very grown, but like, I just, I turned 22 now, I think I can go everywhere I want, but I don't because I don't know, so we're not talking about my life right now, we're talking about um, okay, wait, I'm giving you guys a story, and y'all know I, 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 I start talking a bunch of nonsense when I'm giving you guys stories, so try and keep up, try and keep up. So what was I talking about? Right, we went on that road trip, and boy, oh boy, what, there's nothing like major that happened during that road trip, but after we came back, um, and then I went to visit her to return her jacket, I had her jacket, so I went to her house after school to just drop off her, um, her what her jackie and i you know we talk a little bit how she's been and everything and then i go back home when i got to the entrance of their estate this um this what are they called soldiers at the door at the gate they told me i'm not allowed to get in and i don't fight like y'all i don't fight i don't like if you tell me i'm not allowed somewhere i don't like try and force my way through here unless it's a bts concert so or their house but um i was like you know what okay fine let me just go back and then i was like can i drop this one here actually i didn't ask them about the jacket anyway so hey, yo. they started telling me how i'm not allowed because apparently i don't know i do well to that child and everything i don't like bring her drugs and everything so i got mad and i was like you know what bitch bye that was it i was like if your dad thinks i'm the one that's ruining you and i am trying to keep your ass alive i'm not gonna do this anymore i am done and when i tell someone that i am done just know i'm done yeah. it's not a matter about um oh i'm waiting until the right time you know we can always like revisit our friendship or our relationship or something no 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 no, no. when i say i'm done I'm done. I don't care if my heart is ready to let go. My brain has ready to let go. My heart has to keep up. Cause she has to keep up. So I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to show you guys how easily I can detach myself from someone. I have learned it, y'all. Like it's a thing that I do now and I think I'm gonna be those women, those people who end up alone in the freaking forest all on their own. <laughs> 
<laughs> but to be honest with y'all um I don't leave people like with a bad heart or something I just really care about my, myself too much that I'm not gonna like force something that is not there do you get it like I'm not gonna force a friendship that is about to break like I see it coming from a mile away. I'm a nova thinker. So my life, my entire life, revolves around trying to see what's wrong with something. Like when I spot something is wrong, like when I spot what is wrong with something, I am out of there like I was never there. Why? Because I believe <laughs> that you need to take things that I'm trying to look for. I'm trying to look for a... a and the eyeshadow brush, I can't find it. Okay, found it, we can go on. So what did I say? I was saying, um, what was I saying? Yeah, this is why I can't get distracted when I'm talking. Right, so, oh, uh, right, I'm an overthinker, you guys. So when I start sensing that something is wrong or something is about to go down, I, I minus myself from that equation. I just subtract myself from that equation because I can tell when I'm not I'm no longer needed in a place do you get it like I can tell when a friendship is not working anymore for either both of us I can tell when a relationship is not working for either one of us and 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 or both of us at the time so that's why I, right now to be honest you guys like I told you in the last video I don't know if I've ever had a guy cheat on me because I break it off before he even gets a chance to start cheating because he's done with the relationship. So I get done before someone gets done. I think that's just a defense mechanism, but it works so far. So you guys need to learn how to detach yourself from people because you see, I always see like, especially girls in relationships, um, a guy cheats on you multiple times, a guy is ghosting you multiple times, but you're still there, I don't know, waiting for what to happen, and when asked why are you still there, you're like, oh, you know, he loves me, he's gonna change, he's gonna do this, but you know, and I know, that he ain't gonna change, that's just how he is. He's not gonna change, he's just done with you, he's not interested in you. I see so many girls just sit down and wait for a guy to finally, like, how can you go out with a guy for like six months? Okay, not six months. Maybe you're in the, okay, hold on, let me phrase this a better way. How can you stay with a guy for a, in the talking stage for like six months? Like, that's no longer his talking stage, he's not interested in you. Okay, he's not. But girls are like, oh, you know, he's taking his time until, you know, when the time is right. You know what? You're just bullshitting yourself. If you get to the point and he's not making any kind of move, y'all, I cannot be in a talking stage for a month. Who do you think I am? <laughs> a month, if you're still on the talking stage with me, we're done. We're done. Because I don't have that time. Girl, I got shit to do. Okay, so either we eat or we not. Simple. And, <laughs> of course, Everyone always has something to say about my weird um, choices in life, but I learned the best thing you can do for yourself is learn how to detach yourself from stuff. Like, don't sometimes fuck your emotions, okay? Your heart, that, that person is weak, that part of the body is very weak. So if you listen to it every single time, you are gonna get burned. Because your heart is always like, Oh, what if, what if, what if, what if, but we don't want the what ifs. We just want, like, you know, we want the now, not the what if. That's just a wish. Like, I see so many girls, they're always like, oh, I can break up with the guy. What if he does this? What if his life changes? What if he's done? What if he's done? If a nigga is a bum, he will always remain a bum. Point blank, period. So even if you stay there and wait for God knows what, it's not going to change the fact that he's a bum. So you need to move on. You need to move the F on. And just, I don't know, subtract yourself. It's as simple as that. I don't know why people don't get it. Yes, it's a hard thing. It's not like the easiest thing to do, y'all. I know I'm talking about it like it's the easiest thing to do. It is not the easiest thing to do. Because, yes, I do have the second... I don't know. I started 
second guessing myself when I do that because I'm like, did I do the right thing? Was I impulsive and all that? But at the end, you realize you're not impulsive okay maybe I get impulsive sometimes I do stuff that I kind of regret but I have this motto in life that whatever I do I am not gonna regret it like I am living this life without any regret because for how long will you regret stuff okay you need to move on from regret I don't even regret anything y'all like I have done things in my life that I shouldn't be proud of but do I hate myself for it? I do not. Do I forgive myself from it? Of course I do. Do I regret it? I don't. I don't. So even the people I have detached myself from, even the people I no longer hang out with or interact with, I don't regret it because, I don't know, maybe it was meant to be. Or maybe it was never meant to be. That's why we ain't together no more. And when I'm talking about detaching, y'all, this is gonna be sensitive. This part is sensitive. For anyone who will get emotional about it but you also need to learn how to detach yourself from your parents some parents in this planet are toxic and evil I'm not kidding you guys some people are not meant to be parents so you know like we were, when we, we grew up taught that no matter what you need to be respectful of your parents you need to be you know your parents source of joy and everything but some parents out here, y'all, I have seen stories that have left me shooketh. So when you realize that your parents are like toxic and everything, you also kind of need to detach yourself from them. Okay, so not everyone deserves to be a parent, but every child deserves a parent. Some sort of thingy like that. So, I know you're not going to agree with me, but again, this is my channel. I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, in lines of the law as long as I'm not mentioning anyone's name. Yeah, I have learned I have studied the life <laughs> I've studied how to like do videos y'all. You just can't say whatever you want all the time because someone is listening and someone's gonna come at you for it. So you kind of need to learn how to detach yourself from toxic family members and all that kind of stuff because they can also be toxic. It don't matter, okay? Don't put too much trust in them. Like <laughs> Yo, if I tell you that to me, I don't put so much trust in like family will always be there, family is the only thing you have. I don't put so much trust in that because they can easily tell me like anyone else because they're humans. Okay, as long as they're getting something from you, you are going to be there. They're going to be there for you. But when they stop when they like stop um getting something from you you know like when they see that you're not benefiting them anymore they're not gonna care they're not gonna care
So you guys, as I was saying, learn how to detach yourself from things that just doesn't help you. Okay, here's the thing, okay? If something doesn't bring you joy, happiness, money, or peace, you can easily detach yourself from it. You're not gonna get karma or you're not gonna get like, you know, a bad vibe, not a bad vibe, like you're not gonna have to pay for it. Like sometimes I used to have this thought that, especially when I was living uh, the friend that I had, the one that I've just told you the story about, in my head, I'm like, what if I get karma for this? This is someone who needs a friend, this is someone who needs someone to help them, and I am running away. We're well, not really running away, I am detaching myself, and I'm saying, no, I don't have the energy for this, no, I don't have the time for this. In my head, in my overthinking state, I started asking myself, am I going to pay for this because I am doing something that is not really good by removing myself from someone's life who actually does need help but then i sat down with myself and i told myself number one okay i am not the sister number two i am not part of the family and number three and this is most important i am not a licensed therapist i cannot help her when, with the help that she actually needs, the help that she actually deserves because I am not certified to do that. So I start feeling guilty because there is the sense of guilt when you start detaching yourself from things, from people specifically. There is a guilt that you go through but I told myself I am not going to go through this guilt because I didn't cost it, okay, it's not something that I cost. And also, it's not that it's her fault, but where I was standing, okay, the friendship wasn't helping. The friendship was all about me trying to make her feel comfortable. When I had something major to announce, when things are going good in my life, there is no way I could have told it. I could have told her about it. Why? Because it was not a friendship of that kind. It was a friendship of she's in trouble. She feels suicidal she feels this she feels that and i run to her and i help her so you need to learn how to detach like i that's that's where i learned the act of detaching yourself from stuff because when it comes to like boyfriend girlfriend relationships that's just not really something that i carry guilt from but when it comes to friendship that's deeper so I had to learn it the hard way but I hope you learn it a little bit less harder than I did but right now right now I can easily say this is not working for me I'm gonna go it's not about it's not about you it's not your fault it's not my fault either it's the situation that we're in the situation is not adding up anything in my life so I'm gonna go and you're not gonna take offense from it because it's not something you're supposed to take offense from. I'm just trying to keep my sanity at bay. So, um, yeah, that was a little back. At this point, I feel like there are chit chats combined with story time because I do have to give you a little backstory because the things that I'm telling you guys about is the things that I have experienced personally on a personal level. So I do have real life um examples from my life okay like yeah i feel like that is a little bit more better when i'm telling you something that i know about that i have gone through my life that i i understand on a certain level because i'm not gonna be i'm not re it's not like i'm i'm gonna sit down and, and write about it and read and stuff no 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 first of all these are unplanned videos 90 percent of the time i did know the topic that i want to talk about like what an hour before i filmed it but i don't have like written notes of the things that i'm gonna say because it's real life situation that i'm gonna explain it to you guys uh using my real life example so i am not gonna be a favorite to the people that i've dealt with so far in my life because they're gonna be the examples 
as long as I don't mention the name or show pictures that I cannot go that far but um yeah guys that is all I had for you today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see on my channel on this chit chat show thingy that we're doing now on this channel so um yeah guys i'm gonna see you in the next one goodbye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her